Welcome back to I'm Still Here. I'm Larry. And I'm Heather. In 1998, at the age of 26, I was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. It changed everything for us, but I'm still here. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. And it is right in the midst of anniversary time, can oh, cancer anniversary yeah. time, mm -hmm. and the holidays. So I thought we might just talk a little bit about kind of how you can carry joy and sadness at the same time, sort of. How how that... Well, with us, it's not sadness. Well, not now. But right. man, yeah. at first it was yeah. sad and, and, and scared. And with many other people, it could be sadness. For you know, sure. It, it, it absolutely could have that anniversary date, you know, of a right. really sad day. Yeah. Right. But it's just, a, it's. I think it's so... I'm, it's difficult to get diagnosed any time of the year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But at this time of the year, it seems, and maybe I just feel like that because this is where when mine happened to fall, but it was almost like it was even, it was more of a challenge because I was expect you, you're supposed to be happy around this time of year, right? You're yeah. celebrating holidays and uh -huh. you're getting together with people and all of this stuff. And it just seemed almost more amplified. Yeah. I think, you know, no doubt in all of that. So, well, it, it brings you to reality too, is, you know, right. You know, celebrating Christmas and being happy and with family and all of that. Absolutely. But the reality is back 25 years ago is, Oh, wait a minute. I got to fight for my life here. I, I have something. Yeah. Or this could be my last holiday. Yeah. No kidding. You know, like how is this possible? And Did that ever cross your mind? Yeah. Did it? Wow. <laughs> Glad it didn't mind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all of those things, right? And and people, especially because the, the diagnosis was so new, everybody, nobody knows what to say. Mm -hmm. People say the wrong things. And so even just like the most basic, you know, it's just hard to, I mean, I think even I remember doing Christmas with your family and just... And it being fine, but I know that everybody's worried that they're going to say the wrong thing, or they know sure. how, how, like, we. it was almost like, um, it feels like pig pen, you know, with that cloud around. That's mm. kind of what it felt like, or looks, it seemed like to me, like, you know, how do we do this right, and how do, you know. And the reality is there's no right. Oh, no. No, we, no. We'd write that book, you know, if, if we knew what that was, but. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and fortunately we had, like, some kids around, you know, like, Sydney mm -hmm. was little and our nieces and nephews, so we could, you know, just kind of focus on those types of things. But it's just really, it's really a challenge, and I think it is, I mean, I think that's one thing you learn with cancer, is that, like, you want to hold these memories closer, you know, mm -hmm. but you also want to be able to have fun in with it as well I guess you know like it's I think I think what you learn through cancer especially when you're diagnosed young is just the that we're not given anything in this life you know and we should hang on to it in a way um not take it for granted I guess maybe yeah and so what's the I don't I don't think balance is the word but but trying to stay in moments in a way that feels okay yeah because you were overly stimulated in uh, celebrating or uh, making sure this was a great Christmas, a great birthday, a great, you know, because of the, I don't know how many I have. Yeah, I wanted that, but initially yeah. I I didn't, I was just in shock, <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't know, it's just tough, but I hope that as, as you're approaching holidays that you can find joy in things and I hope that you know it you also are aware enough of your feelings to do you know what feels right for you right and I think that's the key it's what feels right for you and everybody else should make that happen well and not just that I think the other thing I was talking to some friends this week and we were talking a little bit about this is like it's okay as the person who has cancer to say no, thank you, or I don't want that, or please stop, or... And it's also okay to, to say, you know what, I don't, uh, today, 
where a whole family saw it. I don't want to talk about cancer one time. Yes. Let's today prevent, pre, pre, uh, pretend yeah. like I don't have it. Yeah. And we're just going to, it's okay to do that. Yeah. But I think escape. some of those things that you're, that we think and that we, you know, the things that I'm thinking about is, you know, it's okay to say them to people. People can't read your mind, you know, mm-hmm. and sometimes that's really helpful to kind of lay out some of those things that would make you feel better, you know, oh, those ground rules. You know, communication in any any situation always tends to make things better, yeah. and that's a really hard communication yeah. scenario of not only dealing with family, but dealing with friends and how, how all that in the holidays, and yeah. yeah. Communications definitely can help you, though. It's huge on that. Yeah. So, but I hope um, I hope you can enjoy the season, right? Mm-hmm. And we are getting close to wrapping up, but we're going to do one more podcast uh, this week. Uh, I think I know what's happening for sure, but I'm not going to say it in case it doesn't. We're going to come back uh, next week with um, Monday momentum, and then we're going to turn you loose for a little bit, mm-hmm. and we'll we'll go from there. So. Have a great week. See ya.